Guys, it's time to start tuning Optimus 3. Now, I've already tried the shocks. Right now, I'm back to the capper shocks with the stock oil and all that in it. But I want to see how adding a little bit of portal weight can affect the truck. I've got the Vitavon portal covers right here. 79 grams a piece for a total of 158 grams can go right onto the front axle. Notice all the weight is down here at the bottom. That's the best place that you can have weight on any portal axle, even a regular straight axle. So we're gonna get these on and see how they do as compared to what's set up right now. Take a look. Mounting the new brass into place is super easy. Those four screws take the wheel hex off, then just transfer the bearings and the gears to this piece and bolt it right on. With the bearings and all swapped over, you can see this does have the hot racing overdrive gears in it. So. It just simply goes right on or right in just like that put the bolts back in place the wheel hex on and you're done that's it ready to go as you can see i am running an eight millimeter wider hex to get these wheels some extra clearance just up into here because you know these are the uh, team garage hack wheels for the capper to narrow it up you get a little bit of extra clearance for the front knuckles i'll put a link in the description for these as well with the weight let's see I can get into my dig feature now. That's actually way better. Ooh, I'm up on it. The wheelbase of the capper allows that front tire to just get just a little bit of a hook and get up on top of that. This one, not quite so much.
doing pretty good here. Got some tire wrinkle down there. Looks like 37 is going to be it. Just see if they can start getting the hookup again. I believe we did 37 before, so. Let's see if they can get the hook. Let's see if that weight up front actually helps or if it holds it up. Easy, easy. Making this thing bounce does not do very well for it. It's going to hang out at 41. You can see the 37 right up there. Trying to have the tires turn just enough. Oh, easy, easy. We're right about to the 37 mark. There's the 37 right there. So we've evened up without the brass. I think it may have got 36. Maybe a little closer to it here. Yeah, I think so. I think it got 36. I'll call it at that. Away. Let's give this thing a drive and just get a feel for it here. As far as driving like this. I don't know if I'll even notice a difference. Pretty easy driving for this truck, really. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a turn up here and try some side hills. Like, climb up the side and see here. Use a little dig on that. That's what it's there for, right? This is a rough spot right here. And it hooks right into your portals and just catches you right down there. I would have put this in the test, but you know, I've done this so many times. It's just, you know, a little bit too much repetition, right? This is a really, really leany thing right here. And I've just barely made this last time I tried it. It was in the uh, competition between this truck and Superlight, where Superlight won. This was an extremely difficult climb for this truck. That was uh, a lot easier. Was it a different line maybe? Or did those weights really play a role in that?
because that was actually pretty easy and that is a difficult line guys i'm telling you right now this is a climb here that the super light ate optimus's lunch on yeah optimus could not get this and i tried and tried let's see if these weights will get the difference doesn't look like they will and what's crazy is the super light will go right up that. Just got some more tuning to do. Looks to be a lot closer in getting it though. What if I can bump it? Not like that. It does look more stable than what it did back when I did that test or that comparison. Let me get this thing lined up right. Get a little bit of a bump. One more time. One more time. I'll try. Right there. All right. With a bump, it can get it, but it can't crawl that crack. <laughs> the brass up front was very noticeable. It was actually able to keep that front end down on the inclines to actually allow me to actually try to work that dig and do some of that stuff. So overall, I like the brass on the front of this. So it's going to stay. I have a few more tuning options I'm going to do and they might be a little bit unorthodox. If they work out, you'll see them. If they don't work out, You'll probably still see them. Regardless, uh, got some more tuning to do on Optimus 3. Got to get it to that level where I, I can call it done. Guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check that description for affiliate links, eBay and Amazon. If you've got stuff in your cart and you think about it, click on any of my videos, look at one of my links, click on it, boom. No matter where you go to it as far as the eBay or Amazon, just check out with whatever's in your cart. It all counts, and every little bit helps. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that Join button and actually become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out. And as always, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching.